Greetings fellow travelers and welcome back to Zoo Miami's Amazon Beyond. Today we will continue our trek by exploring Amazon Land of the Giants. The 4200 mile long Amazon River holds more fresh water than any other river in the world. In rainy seasons it rises more than 40 feet and dry forests become underwater habitats. This is also the largest continuous rainforest on earth and here we will come across the flooded forest, powerful harpy eagles and giant anacondas along with many other unique animals. First up is the Orinoco River, which is the third largest in South America. This area houses seven exhibits. A few of these have unnamed species sharing the habitat. Here we find the Cop Sicilian. This strange amphibian is related to salamanders and frogs and is often incorrectly called a rubber eel or Sicilian worm. These amphibians share their habitat with at least three identified species of fish. Next up is the green crested Basculus, followed by a shared home for the giant horned lizard, which uses their horns and spiny scales to protect themselves from predators. As a last resort, these lizards can shoot blood from their eyes. They share their exhibit with the Baja Blue Rock Lizard, which are able to flatten their bodies in order to squeeze into narrow rock crevices. Here we'll find the world's heaviest snake, the Anaconda. False water cobras are not true cobras, but can inflate their neck to intimidate enemies. They have fangs in the back of their mouth and are mildly venomous. Indigenous people apply poisons from the skin of the poison dart frogs to their hunting darts. The poison quickly immobilizes monkeys and other elusive animals. The Orinoco crocodile exhibit has two different viewing areas. One is a bubble window and the other a normal glass view of the habitat. This huge and powerful reptile has not been able to withstand decades of overhunting. Signing indicates only a few hundred adults remain in the wild. They were almost wiped out of existence between 1931 and 1934 for the skin trade. Up the path and before entering the flooded forest building, we will get a look at the pond exhibit, home to at least 16 species of birds. We will get up closer views of these birds on the other side of the building. If you like to keep track of places spot animals on the left side of the bridge is the best place to catch a view of the Cascaroba swan. Past this beautiful mural and inside the building, we'll find 10 habitats housing 30 species. And again, there'll be a few species that are unidentified. Just past the doors and on the left side, we'll spot the wolf fish. The male of this species will guard the nest of eggs and even chase the female away. When in danger, the smoky jungle frog will emit a high-pitched bellow as a defense to scare away predators. On the right side of the doors, we'll come across the Puerto Rican Crested Toad, the Mexican Red Kneed Tarantula, the National Bird of Venezuela, the Red Siskin, is threatened with extinction from the illegal capture for the pet trade and habitat destruction. A nice set of picture windows gives us a view into the next exhibit, which labels 13 species, of which I was only able to capture 7 for this video. This spot is worth spending some time to rest out of the heat while trying to spot the different animals. And here we see the green iguana, which will often jump from tree to water using their powerful tail for swimming to escape. They are able to leap down 40 to 50 feet without injury. White-faced sake monkeys are capable of leaping as much as 30 feet between branches. They live in the treetops and feed on seeds, fruit, insects, and small animals. Their sturdy canine teeth make it easy for them to crack open the hard shells and nuts and seeds, and these monkeys are often hunted for food and captured for pets. Towards the back of the exhibit, we'll spot a red-footed tortoise. 
Kill Bill Toucans. Yellow Rumped Cacique. And Golden Conyers. And for those curious on what we missed, I'll put a full species list in the description. Across the way, we'll find an aquarium home to eight labeled species, including the red-tailed and ripsaw catfish. Arapaimas. Pakus and freshwater stingrays. Using as much as 550 volts of electrical energy, this fish stuns its prey. Using lower voltage, it communicates with other electric ills and senses surrounding objects. The final two exhibits before exiting the building houses blue poison dart frogs. And the twist neck turtle. Outside and to the right of the door, we'll get another view into the multi-species forest exhibit. Across from the door is a freshwater stingray exhibit with multiple unnamed fish species. Amazon freshwater stingrays have evolved from Pacific stingrays. Millions of years ago, before the Andes Mountains rose, the Amazon River flowed into the Pacific. Here we will get a better view of the pond that wraps around the building and spot some of the 16 species of birds that call this pond home, as well as a few native birds. Right behind the mixed species forest exhibit, the crested screamer can be found. Here we learn about Zoo Miami's aquatic refugium system. This system utilizes biofiltration, which allows plants and many microorganisms to clean the water naturally. PVC pipes are buried underneath gravel. Plants and microorganisms will grow in the gravel. Water then moves downward and is filtered through the gravel and plant roots and into the PVC pipes. It then flows into the pump where it gets circulated into the pond swimming area. With the help of naturally clean water, Zoo Miami is able to grow plants that will be browsable or plants that can be fed out to the other animals at the zoo. We'll head up to the bridge and get some more up close looks at the birds. There will be a few different species on the left side. We'll get to those in a moment. On the right side we have the comb duck. Rosy Bill Pockard, White Faced Whistling Duck, and Rudy Ducks. On the left side of the bridge, we'll spot the Black Neck Swan. This is the largest South American waterfowl and also has the largest eggs of any bird capable of flight. They are also known to have a triumph ceremony. Such ceremonies are when a male attacks a rival suitor, then returns to his potential mate to perform an elaborate ceremony while posturing and calling. The biggest threat to these birds is the loss of wetland habitat. Across the bridge, we'll come across multiple viewing areas for the harpy eagle, and we'll find out that because harpy eagles require large, undisturbed areas of forest, protecting their habitat benefits thousands of other species living beneath them. Illegal hunting and habitat destruction have led to this bird's endangered status. When threatened, harpies can raise the feathers on top of their head. This directs sound right into their ears. Newly hatched chicks are born with white feathers. They stay near their nest during the first year of their lives, being intended to by their parents. Harpies can perch silently for hours waiting to attack their prey at just the right moment. In flight, using the sharp claws, a harpy can instantly kill a monkey and then fly off with its food. At rest, the talons lock in the closed position. The eagle has to exert force to open them. The harpy's relatively short wings help it maneuver through the dense forest canopy at speeds as great as 50 miles per hour. Its long tail, which is like the tail rudder of a jet aircraft, enables the eagle to make tight, rapid turns. 
1993, Zoo Miami initiated a relationship with the government of Panama in a collaborative effort to raise awareness about the harpy eagle through a national grassroots campaign that would eventually result in the species becoming an iconic symbol for the country's natural heritage. In September of 2009, Zoo Miami experienced its first successful hatching of a harpy eagle, and in honor of this international conservation partnership, the chick was named Panama. Next to the Harpy Eagle exhibit, we get one more view into the pond. Down the winding pathway, we will come across our last exhibit in Amazon Land of the Giants. This exhibit houses four different species. The helmeted curso, red footed tortoise, two toed sloth, and the hawk headed parrot. This will conclude our trek through Zoo Miami's Amazon Land of the Giants. Thanks for joining me. This is Brad. And I will see you where our adventures take us next. Until next time, safe travels, everyone.